This demo is how to use Weaver slider post. We're going to create a new post. Okay, here we are. First of all, I've uh, navigated to the Google Doc uh, success story images for the dentist. Inside the folder, we have the different uh, post categories, and we're going to use crowns as an example. Uh, the first page is the first slide. We're going to open it up, and inside you'll find the final document. If I double click, you'll see that the two images have been joined together into one. I'm going to go ahead and download that. Right click, download. And now it's sitting here at the bottom of my browser. We'll go to the dental site and get into the dashboard. I'm going to go to Weaver Slider Posts, and I'm going to edit this test post I, I created. Actually, we'll just trash that. And I'm going to create a new post, Weaver Slider Post. All right, so now I'm going to go back, and I'm going to look. Here we are in the crowns, slide one. So page one is going to uh, correspond with slide one, and we're in the crowns folder. So. I'm going to enter crowns, slide one for the title, and inside I'm going to add the content, add media. I'm going to drag in the image, and in the right side here, I'm going to make sure that we're text aligned left, link none. And you'll see that full size is 834. So we're going to edit that to 600 pixels once we're inside. So insert into post. We want to make sure that we remove the absolute URL. So I'm going to take out the just after the quote quotes HTTP right before the forward slash WP content. Delete. I'm going to remove the height attribute. Oops. And then I'm going to change the width to 600 pixels. After that, I'm going to add a div tag for the content. I'm going to open and close the div. I'm going to go back to my Google Drive, and I'm going to open up the text. I'm going to copy it, copy and paste. Back to the slider. I'm going to enter inside my div, taking out the extra space. And it looks good. On the right hand side, I want to make sure I check crowns. And in the slider group, crowns. So that's categories and slider group. And that's it. So we're good. I'm going to publish this. So in the uh, Weaver slider post options, I should have crowns. I do not, so I need to set up a, a new uh, slider. So inside the options, I'm going to add crowns. This is the filter, crowns. I'm going to hide the display. And post type. Post slider, ATW post slider, add. Now it's here. I'm going to add a slider group, crowns. Now it's here, crowns. Filter, crowns. So now these two are set. All the other uh, can be left the way they are. I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to set up the slider. It's not in there, so we need to create it. Rounds. Create new slider. Here we are. I'm going to set it to slider, paging dots, so show slider as post, 
don't auto start. And there's one more setting. Where is it? Maybe it's in the filters. Go back to filters right here. You need to enter a negative one number of posts to show. Save options. Slider. Save options. Now we need to embed the uh, slider on the post page. Page. I'm going to go to grounds. In the text box, we have the wrong slider. I'm going to add the new slider. Browns. Save. And update. Now if I go back to the post, we can see what it looks like here in the visual. Here it is. We want to make sure that this matches up. I'm just going to duplicate, navigate, <coughs> success stories. Now we should have that show up. So something went wrong. So this video is trash. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Don't say those outtakes. <laughs> uh, right now. Yeah. Okay. So now I got to go back and figure it out. So. Let's see here. Okay, we have the post set to crowns. Crowns. Crown slide one. Update. Go back, check it again. Nope. Slider settings. Let's go to the slider settings. Let's see if it's saved. Oh, right here, it shows slider post. Oh, we didn't uh, save. Okay, don't auto start, save options. Uh, show slider posts. Uh, we want to change this to slider. Uh, that should be it. Now let's go back and see if it changed. There we go. It worked. So just check out the, uh, the settings or go back and look at the other pages that have been done if you have any questions.